Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a tag video today, a little different. I haven't done one of these in forever. And uh, this one is being called the Jaclyn Hill Fall Favorites Tag, um, as opposed to just the Fall Favorites Tag. I guess she came up with it. Um, and so I was tagged to do this, so I thought I would sit down and do it because um, I'm going to be away for a wedding. And I kind of figured I needed a little something to fill in here for you guys. I have some reviews coming up, but I thought this would be fun to do. And it was only a few questions. Typically, so many of these tag videos are like 30 or 50 questions, and they just, you know, it's, I don't know, they just kind of get boring to me. I like the short, quick, easy, you know, here's the answers, something fun like this. So, uh, the first question is, is your favorite fall candle. Blah, blah, blah. My favorite fall candle is one I do not have yet that I need to go buy another one of. It is from Yankee Candle and it is the Macintosh Apple. I love for fall the smell of apple, but here's the key. I do not like the smell of cinnamon. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like the smell of it. So to me, the Macintosh Apple one just really has a great apple scent because so many fall scents have a lot of cinnamon and things like that to it that I'm just not a fan of. So that is my favorite candle and I am going to go pick one up. Um, favorite lip color. I just put it on now. It looks a little pink today. It always changes a little bit on me. Um, this is a color that I go back to every single fall and it is by Clinique and it is called the Black Honey. And now they have like all different kinds of things with this. Um, it looks very dark, it's deceiving. I have been wearing this, but watch, I'll swatch it. It is not nearly as dark as you would expect. And it really does kind of on your lips, I don't know, it looks different all the time on me. This is something that I have been wearing since they have made this and I have worn this since. I was thinking this the other day because I remember a girlfriend of mine introduced me to it. And I'm trying to think, I know what house I was living in, so it was probably since 98. Now I haven't worn it every year since then, but it's one of those things that I've used for a really long time and I always go back to. So that's pretty cool and it kind of, you know, it's reminiscent. So Black, Clinique Black Honey is just awesome. Uh, my favorite fall drink, and I think I'm going to go get one in a little bit when I go to pick up MJ today. Um, my favorite fall drink is from Starbucks. Again, they have an, a hot caramel apple cider. Okay, and I ask for it with no spice. And so it's basically like a cider, but it it doesn't have the, I don't know, it's hard to explain. They used to make it back in the day and it was just the hot caramel apple cider. Now it's called the hot caramel apple spiced cider. And I just say no spice, which was just like a liquid season, a liquid flavoring or like a shaker that they put into it. And I love it. When Marty and I first met, I still remember this, um, like what, second year we were together we were looking for houses um, when we were in the city trying to decide if we wanted to rent or buy and I remember every weekend I was like downing those like I would drink two or three of them in a day and they are not good for you like they have caramel sauce in them they have whipped cream on them like it's so bad for you but with that being said I drank way too many of those that year so kind of funny love it though now I treat myself here or there now Favorite fall blush. My favorite fall blush since it came out, and I don't know why I associate this with fall, but it's the Benefit Rockateur. And you know what's funny? When I bought this, I had no desire to buy this. I didn't think I would like it. And I think it was um, Little Fee Fi Fo Fum. I think she convinced me to get it, Felicia, um, for some reason. It is just a beautiful color. It has a nice sheen to it. It's not too pink. has a little bit of a rosy undertone to it. I have it on right now. I just love it for fall. I just think it's the most beautiful fall blush. Uh, favorite clothing item, flannel. Any type of flannel I can get, um, whether it is, this one is from Target actually, um, but whether it's like the full fleecy flannel or just this one, you know, it's not quite fall enough yet to wear like thick ones but I love the sleeves rolled up I love just like soft comfy flannels this was one of the questions that I wasn't sure of. favorite fall movie I don't have a movie that I just watch in the fall it's not like a favorite Christmas movie um I do like horror films love them Marty hates them <laughs> hates them it's probably putting it nicely um when we first met I made him watch Saul and he was like ready to kill me like he was ready to rip my arm off it was hilarious um i love scary movies though any type of scary movies i love the whole saw series you know back in the day um 
way back in the day, Nightmare on Elm Street, you know, any type of exorcist. I used to go with my a friend of mine every year we went and I got my brother addicted to this stuff every year around Halloween. My brother and I usually go to a scary movie. Um, so a theme of scary movies for the fall rather than a specific movie. Favorite TV show for the fall. Okay, I have two, I would say. If you told me two, I had to pick. Scandal. It's probably a given for a lot of people that do these. It's just awesome. It's just so good. And then Nashville, which I did not think I would like. And I really, really, really liked it. And I love it. And it was on the other night. And I have one on DVR. And I need to sit down and watch it. But I'm doing this instead. <laughs> Uh, favorite Thanksgiving food. You know what my first reaction was? It's funny. I love Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday. I would take that over Christmas any day. Um, because I have a huge, huge, huge family. My mom is the oldest of nine children. I'm the oldest of all the grandchildren. We all get together. It's not crazy because you're not doing like Christmas gifts and all kinds of craziness. It's just you get to catch up with everyone else that you haven't seen for a while. Um, but th favorite Thanksgiving food um, would have to be probably stuffing with gravy on it. Um, and like true, like stuffing. I don't like like sausage in it. I don't like potatoes in it. I don't, I like true, just old school, you know, giblets the whole bit in the stuffing, like full fledged stuffing. Um, it's just what I grew up on. And that's something I've learned. It's kind of interesting is everybody's family has a different way they do stuffing and it's it everybody loves what they grew up with you know what i mean so um i don't really care for the mashed potatoes i'm not big on sweet potatoes the way you know you make them at the holidays like i like sweet potatoes but um the turkey's fine but it's not my favorite thing like i love the stuffing and gravy and the desserts <laughs> um halloween costume i am not a big halloween person i like decorating i like doing it with mj I'm not a big Halloween person. I never really, like when I was younger I did, but like once I hit college I think I kind of stopped. Like I still have friends to this day that have like Halloween parties every year and get dressed up and if I'm going to spend money on clothes, I want to spend them on clothes I'm going to wear all the time or that I like. Not something to wear one time as a joke. I don't know. It's weird. Um, let me, I'm weird because I think that. I don't know. I'm one of the few people that think that way. Um, I am excited. I will try and insert a clip here. And, well, I'm not excited. Well, I am, but MJ is super excited. Is He has a Batman costume. He's going to be Batman this year. He's been talking about it since I don't even know when. Like, he's been talking about it for a while. And he's actually decided he wants Aunt Marty to be Robin. <laughs> he says he's Batman and Aunt Marty has to be Robin. We'll see how that goes. Marty said I could be Catwoman. I'm like, mm, nope, not happening. I tend to stay at the house and hand out candy and Marty goes and does trick-or-treating with MJ and then I go out we switch a little bit but he does most of it um so yeah so that is everything in the tag thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have not done this tag video please 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 do this tag video it is fun it's quick it's easy and uh let's see here what I'm wearing today I have on Giorgio Armani lasting silk chart cc corrector under my eyes Laura Mercier Pressed Minerals in Natural Beige. I have an Hourglass Bronzer. Um, the Rockator Blush Dior Star Concealer. Laura Mercier Smooth Powder to set that. On my eyes, I have on NARS Pro Prime Benefit Gimme Bow. Brow. Bow. <laughs> Brow. Uh, the NARS Lancome Audacity in Paris Palette on my eyes. Um, the Estee Lauder Little Black Liner. I probably need to do a review on that soon. Uh, on my eyes, Benefit Roller Lash. On my lips is the Clinique Black Honey. Uh, shirt, I told you guys, is from Target. Um, I've got on the new Rose Gold Lariat from Stella and Dot. I have on the Rose Gold Pave one and a whole little Rose Gold Arm Party. Um, I want to say this is the Wishing Bracelet. I have on the new Resilience Cuff. I have on this Oh gosh, I'm thinking of all the names. I'll put this below. This one's really cute. It's one of the ones with the tie to it. And you can make it as, it has um, little crystals and then the rose gold at the top. And then I have the rose gold uh, cuff as well. This is the one, the always one. Um, everything on this hand is just normal. And my hair is just kind of down. It was curled with a, what was this? Oh, Fabulous Pro. 
the big one, the one and a half, I think. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.